Hello, my sweet little baby boys. We're reading some kaiji, uh, like seven chapters or so. Uh, boy, I don't even know if this is the first video that's going up on this channel. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Who cares? Been fucked by YouTube so many times. We're reading some more kaiji. We got our boys. We're in the camper van. Kaiji's made it back with his insurance papers. Made it out. A-OK. -okay. We are reunited again. And now we can move forward. Where are we going to go from here? Who knows? Probably some more steps before we can actually uh, start moving the money out of the country. But it's nice for us to be back together again. Like, that's the great thing about this part is, like, you know, we keep, we're keep we all together. And then somebody, go, like, we had Chang go off. And then he came back reunited. Then Kaiji went off and did his thing. And now we're back. And now I really hope we actually get a Mario going off and going to do his own adventure and coming back. And then, once they've all three had sort of separate adventures, we can have a combined adventure towards the end of this part, maybe. <laughs> is this really all necessary uh, for us to recap the whole scenario? <laughs> Come on, fucking what out. There's nothing new here. Nothing new. <laughs> I mean, I guess we saw it from his perspective. But, eh, still. We already got the explanation for it all, too. Oh, feels, feels like... Come on. I, I'm fine with Fukumoto's normal pacing and everything like that. I've become accustomed to it. At times it can be, mm, but I've, I've grown accustomed to it. I think it's fine in Kaiji. That felt unnecessary. Yeah, like we can't we can't be continuing to to converse with our family. I mean, not that they have any here. Like he says that, but who do they have? You know, fuckface Mitsuyama. That's about it. I mean, but, like, uh, maybe, I mean, that is true. Is Tei really going to go as far as to go to fucking, like, China, you know, and, and track down Mario's parents and shit like that? Like, you know, maybe, maybe, though. I, I'm acting like it's crazy, but maybe. Also, wait, wait, but I, I said Mario in China. That's, that's, uh, Chang. Uh, Mario's from the Philippines, right? I think so. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't, yeah, Mario, you know, that name from China. <laughs> True, yep. So you want to use the big banks, that way it's going to be in the location where you need to go. Like, it sucks, but we do have to use a big bank. But, um, how are we going to keep this all secret and shit? Because, like, can't Tay I find a way? I feel like uh, you're you're leaving it. No matter what, we're leaving a trail. And the fact that we've just seen all this shit with Indo and everything, it's, it's heightened the stakes. Before it was like a, you know, maybe they will, maybe they won't. Now it's like a, mm, this feels way too risky now. Yeah, so he's going back before, so we should deposit 30 million at a time. So, that's for why I thought it ought to be 30 million. Uh, but 20 times, if we want 30 million. Okay. It's 20 different accounts you need to go to the teller window and set up. Okay. Sure. Yeah, going to do this 30 times. Yeah, how would it be if we really deposit 30 million at a time? That's a lot. It is a lot. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. It's it's suspicioso. Very so. Especially for the guy with a scar on his face. And again, like, you're not going to find 20 different... I mean, I guess they could keep going around with 20... I guess they could. Like, I guess that was the plan anyway. We're just going to have to go to 20 different banks instead of 20 different accounts. It's not impossible. I mean, and I guess it's not that trackable. Like, I guess not. You know, I'm thinking they're going to go to the same bank or something like that, but I, I don't know. Tei just seems like they'll have a way. But, uh, one million should be the limit. That is impossible. Yeah, even one million is a lot of money. That is true, though. Like, <laughs> I thought he was talking, like, no, that would take way too long. I'm like, no, yeah, one million is, mm, that's a lot of money. That's, uh, like, a hundred thousand. I mean, a hundred thousand is more doable if I'm correct on that, um, but it's still, yeah, like, people like them, they should go, I mean, honestly, they gotta buy a suit or something like that, buy a nice attire and shit, dress up for the part, and then people honestly won't think that much of it, 
but we gotta get some 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 dreads, some some nice clothes. To do that, we gotta get use the money. But I mean, take cash in a suit. I mean, I don't think anybody would you know blink an eye here. But I'm not sure how it would be in uh, Japan. That's stranger, you know, paying in cash for something that big. Yeah, and they're not gonna do well being interrogated by the police because they also have no alibis or anything for any you know the past couple of days. So with ten million, there's another person who came here from China, and frankly, he'd done a whole host of crimes. Okay, forging passports and smuggling, sure. Theater with ten million, just doing things like that, and put it all in the bank with no problem. Hmm. Hmm. In comparison to him, how do I put it? Oh my god! It's almost like you're committing a crime just by walking around. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah! Looks like the guy from uh, from Zero, the, the pendulum guy. <laughs> <laughs> really a good guy. What part of it was so good? He had a tattoo on his back that said World Peace. Wow, he was over with that then, huh? <laughs> that was actually really funny. <laughs> I'm not used, to, not used to that from Kaiji. <laughs> oh man, this part has been very comical at times. Uh, man, but okay. Uh, I don't I mean, mm, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, but we'll see. We'll see when they actually do it. If it's gonna work out like they say it should. <laughs> Right, it's gonna take some time, but still, I mean, it's, it's doable. We'll see. We'll see. And the good thing is, like, we saw the guy also had a scar and stuff like that, so... I, I, I do think the scar really adds a lot to how suspicious you are. Also, I said they need to go to 20 banks, but they need to go to fucking 60 banks. <laughs> well, I mean, they don't need to, but if three people come in to deposit 10 million, then... To create an account and deposit 10 million. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, and that was when it was 30, by the way. See, and now it's 60 times for each of them. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It's only after we get a look at the bank teller to see if it might cause a problem with them. If not, it's fine. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that. I want to take 10 million out of that. Okay. Yes, buy some new clothes. Yes. Get some new clothes. Yes, yes, yes. You look like people who deposit 10 million yen. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, man. Uh, yeah, start of the battle is always the most important. As soon as you walk in, first impression. Yeah. Hey, I mean, as someone who works customer service, I know that, you know, equally as well. Moment I see your uh, first impression is gonna be, you know, all I got. It's all you're gonna have to go off of. So, yeah. Honestly, big thing. Well, actually, again, time frame of Kaiji. I'm not sure, but uh, Bluetooth earpiece <laughs> that could go a long way. <laughs> it always does. Yeah. And, you know, if you get seen once, they might warn other banks about you and bad, bad, bad sign. Especially when you got a very, very noticeable scar. Yeah. Do it quickly, smoothly. Get in. Get out. Don't, don't stick around too long. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody connected to AI. Oof, that's bad. Fuck. That's the big thing. Why would Tei not just be sitting at a bank waiting? You know, all the big major ones. So, you might even want to disguise, and even then, you can't have it be an op, you know, you can't, like, the bank teller be like, that looks like a disguise. Like, this is actually pretty intense, because I, I, I talk a lot in this part, uh, in the early parts of this part, about how uh, a lot of the situations... Um, they act like it's that they're doing something extremely suspicious when they're not really. Like, th it's so unsuspicious, but they're, they're like just being extremely paranoid about it. Whereas this, bank tellers, like, no, yeah, they're, they're probably looking for this stuff. Like, this is something that we should be nervous about and be worried about looking suspicious. 
Whereas in a normal, you know, life sense of what, where they're trying to hide shit or, or hide in a house or whatever, it's like, people are not going to notice. People are just going to, you know, people do not really care about other people as much as, <laughs> as much as they think they do. Or at least, you know, what's go when you look like you belong, it's totally, you know, people go with it. So yeah, they're each going to separate stores. What are they going to get? I really it was excited to see them all dressed up. Hmm, accustomed to being at the level of commonplace men. Far distance from the upper stratum. Yeah, so. I don't get it. It's like, what's uh, what's a good suit? You know, they, they don't know. What, who, what, what's the suit that a man who's depositing 10 million yen would look like? Hmm. So Kaiju's really trying to think about like, hmm, who would I be if I, if I had this 3 million yen? Like, yeah, I mean, the, the suit honestly can really, like if you got like a pinstripe suit, that's probably, it's like, hmm, no, nah, it's, you know, you don't want to look like fucking Saul Goodman or something. You, you gotta have a, you know, a suit that actually matches Someone who would probably have 10 million yen, and not like a suit of somebody pretending to be having 10 million, or you know, pretending to be upstanding, I should say. All right, Mario, you go first. Let's get our fashion show on. Let's just see who chose the best. <laughs> to be honest, however, each of them had concerns with the image they had chosen as someone who would deposit 10 million. All right, let's see it. First up, our boy Mario. What you got, my man? Oh my god, he went with the pinch. <laughs> I mean, that's not really pinched, it's a little bit thick, but you just, it's Kazuya! It's Kazuya! It's Kazuya! I, how did I not notice it immediately, but... Again, looks criminal, though. I'm a young entrepreneur! Mm-hmm! <laughs> Filipino living in Japan who runs three different Philippine pubs. Mm, the fact that he's Filipino actually does go a long way with this. You know, it doesn't come across as well because it's manga, but... Honestly, I don't know why, but I buy that way more. Like, I, it feels like almost cultural, right? <laughs> like, like someone's just like, mm, sure, I guess that. Or like, you know, it's just enough to throw them off and be like, I get maybe I do, I don't know the culture there. Uh, and it also, you know, could could be the idea of like a a foreigner who. Well, this is also uh, Japan to be fair, but it's, I mean, it's still a foreigner coming to a you know much more prosperous. Place and they're trying to dress the part. Even if he looks like he's dressing the part, he is still has this, you know, character idea of this this young entrepreneur who is now trying to make his way in a world that he's not sure about. I like it, Mario. Although we know it's Kazuya, it still it still would work. You know, I don't think it's that bad. Yep, you're Kazuya. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, but I'm trying to think of people I know with lots of money. Oh no, is Kaiji gonna have like fucking robes like Kyoto? <laughs> and, and and like uh, Chang maybe Mitsuyama or something? <laughs> Alright, what about Kaiji? Life's an experiment. Go ahead and try. Okay. I, I, I do think, honestly, it's, it's decent. Alright, Chang, you're up next. Who is this gonna be? Alright. Okay, oh, what is that? What? What? Hmm? Yeah, like, what is he going for here? I don't know. A worker that is his boss is entrusting him to, to do this? Okay, yeah, well, well, it's serious reasons. My father manages a small factory in his hometown for all oh, inheritance. Yeah! That's genius chang holy shit i can't believe i doubted you i accepted his inheritance and his honest hardworking firstborn son oh and as yeah as his not <laughs> inherited his hardworking firstborn son and took over management of his factory hell yeah help me get started that's my story what do you mean nice what do you mean what i mean sorry what do you mean what's nice it, it, it is nice that's fucking great chang's the best one so far actually yeah, you don't actually want to look like someone who's depositing 10 million yen regularly, just going by someone who doesn't look sketchy, but just looks, you know, average or even definitely down on their luck is probably even better. Because, yeah, you got that inheritance. And, yeah, Chang is someone that grew up on, you know, actually being hardworking and everything like that. Like, like I mean, Mario is, you know... He, he grew up in a trash, he's always picking shit up and stuff like that, but he's he's still a bit chubby. 
Chang, I'm sure he does have some muscles. He's he looks the part, you know. Yeah, I can see it. It works, and it fits his own backstory again. Like he is uh, kind of like a farmer sort of dude. I mean, hmm. more like a slave, really, but. <laughs> Yeah. What do you mean? Why is Mario so against it? I don't understand. Okay. Hmm, Chang. What's so great about being hardworking? Hmm. They're already level dirty. Oh yeah, he's stomping <laughs> Yeah, scratched off against the car's muffler. Marches the oil stains. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it also marches. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, Chang, I mean, I'm sorry, God damn it, these names. Mario, I don't know why he's so, I mean, maybe there's going to be something I'm not seeing here, but I don't see what's bad about it. It seems like the best one so far. Okay, now what's our main boy got here? Um, excuse me, Kaiji? What the, yeah, what is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, like, here it is. Let's hear his story. Okay. Uh, I, mm. First of all, my dad died. Right. <laughs> First of all, my dad died. He gave me inheritance money. That's the only way, right? That's the only thing that makes sense. I hadn't been home in five years. So he's almost the exact same as Chang's. I was wandering in with her in Japan, gambling, racking up debts, and begging people for cash over and over. Then I heard about my father's passing. The grapevine and came back home. I was a black sheep out of all my siblings, so whole family thought of me. So with no discipline or potential ahead of him. Hmm. Yeah. Discipline is really close, sure. Yep, yep, yep. But, um. Hmm. <laughs> That's the exact impression. <laughs> Chang with these fucking birds. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Chang. Yeah, that's a little bit much there. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think the bank's gonna be like, oh, this fucking guy is gonna just relapse again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I don't think this is a good way to go. You don't, like, you want to look like someone who's hardworking. You don't want to look like, I mean, like, again, the bank's not gonna do anything, but it's still, like, why give off the, the, the image that the bank woman would not say wish the best of luck, but more just like, mm hmm, I wish you the best of luck. But it really just seems like you got the money for nothing and you don't deserve it. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect, Kaiji. That's you. Ooh, got some color pages. Nope, it's just the cover. <laughs> As always, the only time we get color pages is when it's the fucking cover of the volume. But, uh, yeah, fourth volume's out. Hey, yeah, let's just jump into it. I don't like reading that stuff. <laughs> they all look so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Alright. Uh, wait. Hmm? 11 days had passed. So, oh, just since all this has happened? Okay. I thought they meant, like, since they got these outfits. <laughs> Alright, the mass deposit arc. Let's do it. I really doubt I'll get through this entire arc in this video. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's fine. I, I think it would be nicer to do it all as one, you know, big old arcs as, as videos. But, uh, at the same time, the chapters get released so slowly. Because I know Fugaburdo Crazy is short-staffed and stuff, you know. But, uh, so, we're just going to try and keep doing it every five or six chapters. Or seven in this case. Just whenever I can. Jesus, 507 pounds of cash. Oh, man. Like, yeah, like visualizing huge numbers of cash is so crazy. It's, it's uh, like, it can fit all into such a small amount. Like, a million dollars can fit in a briefcase. But, uh, 
<laughs> in hundreds. But um, it's it would still weigh so much. I mean, not, not like a briefcase. I mean, a briefcase still weigh quite a fucking lot. I, but uh, it's I mean, hundreds and seven pounds between the two of, or between the three of them, right? Not like each of them. Okay, yeah, so, going to different banks, which, again, if, uh, that might just be for this first time, because, again, it's possible that different banks might respond different ways to them, but, uh, that way, then there's just resource information as well, that they split up, okay, but, um, so I'm not sure if they're always going to be going into separate banks, but, uh, again, if three people, even at different times, uh, or even different days, are depositing 10 million each, that's a, such a specific amount, they, but they should honestly just, like, change it up a bit, you know, 10 million here, 12 million there, 8 million here, 13 million, you know, shit like that, because then it's not as evident if someone were to, even though it's different banks, so they're probably not going to cross reference. You never know. You never know. I can't imagine that there's, you know, 60 different uh, chains. They all are having to go to this chain, so at least, uh, you know, let's think about, like, at the very least, maybe like 10. Deposits of 10 million. I mean, no, there'd have to be. I'm talking about each, so you're talking about like 30 accounts where they're depositing new accounts where they're depositing 30 million yen. Uh, or no, 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 sorry, depositing uh, 30 times 10 million yen. That's pretty fucking suspicious. Whereas, I mean, even if it's 30 new accounts depositing. Uh, you know, different amounts of millions of yen. That's still pretty suspicious because it's all new accounts being made in a relatively short amount of time being all this deposited. It's suspicious, but is the bank going to care? Probably not. Like, high up, the teller is where it really matters. High up, probably not. You just have to worry that Tei doesn't have somebody working on the inside or some shit like that, or somehow they're going to go in there and, I don't know, fucking murder somebody and get these records. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't pay any mind to it. All right, yeah. I, oh, man, it's, it's going to be so interesting seeing each of their, their attempts and how people react to them. And also, I love seeing, like, Fukumoto's mentality of the crowd. Because, again, as, as I said from the beginning of this part, sometimes he it doesn't, like, he, you know, he has a little bit of that, like, thinking something's suspicious when it's not. So I'm really interested in, in his take on the public. But it's also Japan, so I don't truly know. Like, there is a cultural difference, so. But Fukumoto is also a very old man, so he, you know, he's from a he's from a different era. He's from an era where this stuff probably would have been more suspicious. But nowadays, people are so preoccupied with themselves and with what's, you know, it, 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 no one's gonna notice really. It's just a different era. Okay, so this is like that's that's he's intentionally not showing us the date. Like, even, like, the month or whatever. Or, or the like, even if he had his hand, uh, finger a little bit over to the other side, we could have seen the year, at least. But, uh, do we truly not know the year that it's in Kaiji right now? Because that feels intentional to not even show the year. Uh, I mean, it is, like, in the 2000s. I mean, that's, I mean, between 2000 and 2010. Somewhere around there in the, you know, 2000s. But, uh, uh, what does that call the aughts or whatever? Um. But I don't, again, I couldn't place where exactly. And that might not even be true. It might not even be the 2000s yet. Because, uh, didn't the series start in the 90s? Like, you know, in, in series? I, I do, do not know. Cannot remember. I feel like I ask myself this in so many of my reactions to Kaiji, and I look up the answer and forget. Every time. But I, and I always bring it up again. One wild idea floats. Mm, if it's at all possible, I want the girl in the middle. Oh, yeah, the young one. I should commemorate it. I mean, <laughs> but if I can get a cute girl. The young man cannot help but think, however, so slowly that he wants to be matched with a cute girl. Number 47. Ooh, it's him. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, this time we can see the kanji for a year, but the number before it is too blurry to even make out. So, uh, And it should be a two digit number anyway. Okay, so still hiding the year. All right, make him a little skittish. Yep, <laughs> he's gonna fuck this up. He's gonna fuck this up. 
Nobody's watching, Kaiji. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> He's sweating. <laughs> yep. Ugh. Okay, she seems totally fine. God, you stop squinting your eyes. What are you doing? 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 Are you doing? <laughs> it's finally here. This moment, this milestone. I've been waiting for this my whole life. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Holy shit. I'm finally cool. <laughs> Is he <laughs> talking about talking to a woman? <laughs> I'm so sure that's what he's talking about. I'm so cool. <laughs> Is he just talking about being able to go like, BAM, I'd like to deposit this. <laughs> just that. <sighs> I'm finally cool. <laughs> yeah, her reaction is so light, she doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't want her freaking out, but <laughs> come on, man, I was so cool. <laughs> Kaiji, you're such a fucking child. <laughs> but I mean, can you believe him? He's had like no fucking contact with females for like his entire goddamn life, it feels like. <sighs> you're JL. J -Link. What does that even mean? Uh, 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 it's probably some sports team. Like a Japanese leaguer, a baseball player, maybe? I don't know. A JG. Japanese gambler. <laughs> Alright. And his fucking fingers. <laughs> Jesus. I think he did that on purpose. And like, be like, hmm, look at my cool scars, babe. <laughs> doesn't care. Doesn't care. <laughs> I love this chapter. It's so, like, there's no reason for any of this. It's just so, so scary. <laughs> uh, I love it. Like, this is, I always talk a lot about, like, um, series that can have moments that are completely unneeded. Uh, except for, like, just furthering char a character's personality. It's not, it's not adding character development or anything. It's not servicing a plot. It's not doing anything. It's just further in stating a character. It's just like, just having time to sit with a character in a moment that is totally unneeded in the series, but you're so glad it's in there. <laughs> with luck comes misfortune. Mm. Okay, what is it? Okay, what about the money? Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, even if they want to know, you just tell them. Oh, it was inheritance, and I'm a no good piece of shit. <laughs> Why do we have a little package of this heroin? <laughs> Did we need that? Could it just be drugs, and, you know, in general? Oh, <laughs> uh, Why? What? Oh my god, yeah. But this is honestly oh, this is honestly good for him. For his image of like, you know, being no good piece of shit. A prodigal son. I mean, it's true though. Skeletal's on the second floor, okay. Mm, yeah. It was domain. <laughs> I, by the way, I wonder if Fukuda actually went in up to it. Like, this feels like something that he himself, uh, like, going to a bank, you know, uh, throughout his life, has always, like, seen these stairs leading up and been like, I've never been up to the second store. I wonder what is up on the second store. Maybe he, like, saw the bank out, takes it to the second store, and was like, hmm. And then he had to, like, you know, now these among guards can go in there, see what's up there, see how it all works and stuff. I'm not even sure if they would let him do that, but, you know, he has to find out somewhere. 
but this is I love it. It is so mysterious. It is the mundane mysteriousness. But I, I think of that too all the time where it's like, you know, you're you're in like a, a building or whatever and you're like a building you go in all the time, you're just like I you know, what is that I see customers go over there. I've never been over there. I it seems like you have to, you know, be asked to go over there. What is there? What what is that? What is the mysterious area? <laughs> What's on the second floor? <laughs> I love this. This whole oh, this mass depositing arc is so good. I can't go to the second floor. I'm afraid of heights for one thing, and I don't want to go to a secret room either. I'm claustrophobic. I don't want to do it, and that's that. If you got something to say, tell me here. Okay. The account registration form filled earlier. Hmm? God, you're so fucking like. Can you imagine this? I would hate this man just being in this bank. He's screaming everything. <laughs> Selected a normal account. Uh, if, like you mentioned before, you have no immediate use for the money mine, then by all means, set up a fixed term deposit instead. Mm? The counter for fixed term deposits on the second floor. Oh, so that's what it was. I need freedom. <laughs> I value freedom more than anything else in the world, so I just can't. Hey, man. Kaiji, I hear you, buddy. I hear you. <laughs> now she's glaring. Now she's glaring. Did he not do it, or did he do it? Oh, okay. Wait, what? That just went... Huh? Uh, what the hell? That feels... Okay, I, I, I feel like I might have downloaded the wrong thing, but I don't think so. Like, right? Couldn't have downloaded Fun Fuku on his site, so... We'll wait until after the chapter's over. That was such a jarring transition. Okay, so they got the result. I kind of want to see them all do a thing, but, uh... It's fine. Hmm. Composite account. Oh, and Mario got a fixed term one. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so Chang's name is Chang Bowen. Uh, which Bowen is apparently Japanese for gambling, and the the Chang wait, and the Chinese name itself does it mean Chang or, uh, or just Chang Bowen, like the whole thing is proficient in language and text, which again he taught himself Japanese. So yeah, very fitting name. Uh, what about Mario's though? Uh, uh, what, uh they just showed us Mario's. Uh, Mario Garcia. That's just I mean. I don't know if there's other meaning behind it, but, uh, you know, behind Garcia or whatever, but. <laughs> yeah, they're saying all this, but Kaiji probably did the exact same. That's probably why we had such a jarring cut. And this is where we're going to find out that <laughs> Chang's disguise was actually the best. <laughs> yeah, now he's looking at Kaiji like mm -mm -mm. I did the same thing. This is probably even worse. Yep, a one year fixed form. God damn it, Kaiji. And you made a kid out of that too. And on the next page it says, a savings deposit. A little bit each month for your normal deposit. What? What? 
freedom is a bad thing. You know what? Honestly, you know what? He's right. She's right for Kaiji. Like, yes, good on this fucking girl. And good on Kaiji for realizing it. If that's what's happening here. If Kaiji is gonna fucking come to realization that I can't be trusted with my own money. Because that's honestly true. Not for no, I mean, well, I guess that actually, to be fair, Kaiji's supposed to be leaving the fucking country, so, you know what? It's, yeah, it's a bad idea. I, I, I kind of forgot about the whole thing. If he was staying in this country, it would be a good idea, but he's not, so it's fucking retarded. Now you just threw it away. Yeah, you ain't, you get, you ain't getting the money back. I mean, to be fair, at least Kaiji will also, I love this perspective shot, but, um, <laughs> it really never does that, because this is not even a black, or, you know, a, a dotted panel, but, um, <clears throat> if he ever comes back to Japan, he at least has some money stored away, so, I guess he's got that, I guess he's got that going for him, it's only 10, 10 mil, you know, <laughs> it's only 10 mil, but when you have so much, when you have so much, it's only 10 mil. Paper slip? Okay. What is it? Oh, okay, Kaiji. New uh, disguise? Yeah. What I'm re realizing right now is it called the initial disaster. Yeah. So, just, you know, uh, what is this? A random part? I mean, like, honestly, who? what is this disguise? Just anybody? Because it doesn't matter. But yeah, he's now sure that it really, you know, will not matter. Yep, Banks not going to care, apparently. I mean, true. Like, yeah. Even if they had, even if they were depositing a large amount of money that was legal, the bank would still be like, "Cool, money for us, Bo." <laughs> I mean, they're making very, very good points. Again, like, yeah, why would the bank just not take the money? They're losing customers. Yeah, especially high-paying customers. But I love that in the foreigners, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, they could just cry, cry discrimination. I literally on the floor, rolling around, screaming <laughs> discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so easy peasy. We're just going to keep going and going and going. Something's going to happen, though, right? Something's got to happen here. Like, is there going to be something specific with one bank? Is... Tai going to come in and do it like you know is there going to be one person who's like mm, no and they're going to like like why are you, you going to lose your job over this you idiot like come on or is it going to be uh you know Tai's people coming in uh maybe somebody else not related to Tai recognizing Kaiji and we'll have a whole couple chapters about that of them freaking out who knows okay they're in 20 million each trip okay Yeah, so definitely, yeah, the outfits made him stand out way more, so just switch them. <laughs> yeah, he, Kaiji's actually starting to look cool now. Just a short thing a month ago is someone losing 2,000 yen playing Pachinko. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's actually cool. Exudes a slight air of importance about him. A feeling of calmness. Confidence. And yeah, this is good. Going up there with confidence is good. Hmm? Kaiji started to feel a great sense of uh, unease in the air. Hmm. Okay, no good will come, in, come from acting on such hunches. Sure. Hmm. What is he thinking about here? I've said it before and I'll say it again. That good luck is always followed by bad luck. Okay. Hmm. Bam, bam, right next to each other. Hmm, maybe. It's not separated by anything here. So, maybe it's on two panels. Good luck is always followed by bad luck. Huh, this guy. First of all, it's 20 million yen. That kid. Hmm. Yeah, 2,000 yen. <laughs> yeah, this guy. Yeah, he's doing it next to somebody else. He's going to get jealous, try and think about something, try and follow him. <laughs> I 
honestly though, this this feel I mean, cash, I guess not. I was thinking like you know this digital age, but you know in this digital age you wouldn't be depositing cash. So yeah, where'd you get that much cash? That's actually a pretty good question. Oh yeah, and there goes all his shit. Mm, isn't that <gasps> Teiaikun? What? A Teiaikun unmanned contract machine. Hmm? Saint you Saint Island. Wow. Wow. Okay, so let's yes see this. Wow. I ever I love this kind of shit. Okay, people each have their own set of circumstances. This man, Nakasaka, was divorced from his wife and apparently his son. Uh, not not divorced from his son, but you know. And now some child support payments automatically each month through his bank account. Of course, he has this amount that makes pay of course he has this amount that makes payments with the money he earns from the cleaning job he works at the amp, so a certain store, easy kaya bar, three days a week. He he looks very fitting for it. Like, he actually looks very fitting for that role. <laughs> yes, create new account. Okay, but the pay he receives from his new job. Oh yeah, his ex-wife is sometimes checks in on that account. Would notice and demand more. Yep. <laughs> Smart idea, man. Smart idea. Petty, stingy thing to do, but honestly, yeah, it makes sense. Like, we don't also know why he was divorced or anything like that. He's even got a picture of fucking Yoda. Why? But, yeah. That face just screams, my dad, this is probably. Okay, yeah. We get <laughs> Emperor's love, have faith in you. Oh, this is so skeezy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Fuck this guy. <laughs> it's good to see uh, Yoshihiro, though. We very rarely get to see him. I, I think that's his name, Yoshihiro. He was about to return it, but uh, <clears throat> the guys repayment. For, uh, wait, huh? Tei's repayment encouraging flyer that he had picked up without any particular forethought in mind. But then he saw the flyer's backside. It was hit all at once. Holy shit! Huh? What? Hold on. What? Manhunt one going, one or all of them at the base or on the prowl, track them down. Huh? And then, of course, yeah, this is all sort of blurred out just for, uh, you know, copyright sense or whatever. Heinous detonators. These guys are bad people. It calls for details on the reward money. Wow, they're really putting out fucking bounties on their heads. Oh, God. And, sh yeah. And this guy is going to be like, hmm. Uh, doesn't say how much, though. Just says on the reward money, but. And, yeah, that was guy's going to freak out. Like, huh? Why is he? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh shit, dude! It's a fucking manhunt now. <laughs> oh god! He's just like, yeah, hands it back to him from behind. <laughs> Smart move. <sighs> yeah, absolutely cannot. Absolutely cannot. Yeah, he's covering up the scar. Cover that scar. Cover that scar. <laughs> Yeah, don't turn that stands out. Mm hmm. You already are standing out, buddy. Yeah, that guy's like, mm. but he's not. He's not thinking like, ooh, who I think I recognize. He's like, ooh, I hate this guy. Oh, fucking he's entirely counted, of course. Okay. Oh, God, it's going to be some long time to wait. And as soon as the guy turns around, he's going to see you.
Gay's going to turn around. He'll naturally return to the exact same seat as well. Oh, yeah, right next to him. Mm -hmm. Kaiji should have gone to the fucking bathroom or something. And the way until he was done, saw he was where he was sitting and then sat down somewhere else. But it's the follow of your ways. Oh, did he move his seat closer? Mm hmm. Kaiji, you just like <laughs> immediately hand to the fucking face well, on the other side of your face too. Like fucking, le or I guess it would be right hand to left side here, but still, like that is oh so suspicioso. But I keep telling you, man, Scar is so visible. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Do the bank not have a bathroom? <laughs> He's the fucking thinker. <laughs> oh lord. What is this guy gonna do? Hmm. Okay, move over to this. What? Di okay. Huh, now that's even weirder. Quietly takes a plainly peculiar action. His head is in utter disarray. Ah. It would be more natural. This minor adjustment is clearly strange. So of course he's alerted now even more than ever. Yep. Now this guy's like, hmm. He's trying to remember something. But isn't the eye that I seen this guy before? No, it can't be that. Definitely not. I thought it just like Kaiju was doing it. Like, hmm? Oh, no, I think they were just saying, like, you know, his movement was the, you know, like, the fact they were saying it like this, not in past tense, because he had already done it, uh, you know, it was a bit weird, but, okay. I thought he was trying to do something to, ex you know, to have a, a fake story about why he just moved over one seat, but no. No. <laughs> yeah, you can't just take off. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Okay, good. They're calling him up. Okay, good. So they can't do that, can't. Mm. Yeah, this guy's in some trouble now with his wife. Or he's going to be in some trouble with his wife. I'm just so happy that this guy's getting shit on. It's like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Go home. <laughs> He's cheering on regulations. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Fight as much as you want. <sighs> oh, man. All right. We got one more chapter to get through. Let's do it. The last one. Okay, he's just gonna keep coming. Can they do that? You can just keep coming back to get your card every time? <laughs> nice one, Bank. That lacks of lack of <laughs> that lack of flexibility is awesome. <laughs> oh, I love it. Just like Jabbing at the fucking system all the same, like all while doing this. This is this is perfect. This space. 
But yeah, what kind of problem could you possibly have with that? I know, right? Honestly, I think this should be enough too, but what they say goes. Oh, why is he looking at him? Hmm? Oh, because he was laughing? Or, I don't know. Okay, now Kai just gotta go while well, he's sitting here being pissed off and super annoyed now. And now he's like, oh, this fucking guy with this, like, 10 goddamn million or 20 million. Hmm. You didn't forget anything. What else do you want from me? What is it? Yeah, probably just fixed terms of the savings that. Let's just ditch this place. Okay, uh, what do you leave? What do you leave? Mr. Ito Kaiji, ah, uh, the worst. What? I'm fine. <laughs> Zoom. Oh, <laughs> uh, honestly, again, this I, I brought it up earlier, but uh, <laughs> with the, um, so good one. But this honestly reminds me so much of the cold open, uh, the you know one of the seasons of Better Call Saul, like the idea of just like you know. That whole, like, calling him back for something so mundane and stupid. Ah, sourced. And now this guy's gonna figure it out. He's already piecing together. Ito Kaiji. Yep. Bang, bang, bang. There it is. Ten or thirty million. Mm-hmm. Ito Kaiji. Now he's after us, but we gone. We gone, son. Whew, thank God. Thank God. Now we gotta be even, yeah. Being called the, the neon right now. Uh, neon means two, and four, y'all means four. Okay, so yeah. So the, the two, four. <laughs> yeah. The two, four. That's pretty cool, though. I like it. The two, four. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck do we now do? Yeah, face mask, gla hands, glass, yeah. God damn. Yeah, Mario's a Filipino. Chang is a lanky Chinese man. That's very true. They're very distinctive. Especially Mario. I've got a sad face of scars on my chain. But yeah, they're all extremely distinct. What do we do then? Yeah, it's gonna pass the news on that they're gonna that they're going around depositing. Yeah, I don't know though. Will he? Because maybe he's gonna want the money. So why the fuck would? Or I guess maybe he will to like try and get a little bit, little bit of money. Okay, we're gonna add. Oh no, no, that's the end. Shit. Okay, we're gonna add one small touch to it. How so? Like it can't be that they're just gonna like deposit it all at once. So next time we'll be captured for sure. So it's not even like we have another time. It's like <sighs> we don't counteract their eyes. I don't know what they mean by that. Like, making other people look like them and, like, somehow paying them off? I don't know how it's going to work. But again, how are you going to do that without raising suspicion? Hmm. Well, I suppose we will see next time. I really can't think of any other way to do it. Um, I, I don't... Until then, uh, get the fuck out of here.